You could sum it up this way. State House Democratic leaders are in the process of building a wall of legislation around Maryland. The anti-Trump agenda sparking spirited debate in the Senate. You're giving the Attorney General of the State of Maryland unfettered authority to do whatever he wants on any issue despite what the governor wants. Please answer that question. I don't agree with you. <laughs> Senate Republicans walking out in protest, upset they didn't have enough time to examine legislation giving the state AG common law authority, the power to sue the federal government without the permission of the governor. That's what we're trying to deal with, is looking at the bill itself, reading it, understanding it. 41 states granting the AG's office that authority. And now we have this bill in front of us that is in your face. Another President Trump-inspired bill turns college campuses into sanctuaries, protecting students who risk not being allowed to return because of their immigration status. Democrats worry about Obamacare rollbacks and whether the new EPA chief will interfere with Chesapeake Bay cleanup efforts. The run for the White House prompted a bill requiring presidential candidates to release five years' worth of income tax returns. Otherwise, their name won't be on a Maryland ballot. We want to have transparency, uh, particularly with more dark money, and lots of millions and billions of dollars being spent on campaigns. President Trump also inspiring something else. This state is filled with lawmakers who support lawbreakers. And finally, the people have to stand up. Republican delegate Pat McDonough pushing legislation, allowing citizens to sue elected officials who don't uphold federal immigration laws. Any citizen will have standing in court. It lowers the bar. It's very similar to what is done with the Civil Rights Act. Another President Trump-inspired bill prohibits the state from participating in a constitutional convention. There is concern the new president will hold one to rewrite parts of the U.S. Constitution. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.